Although I spent six years racing against Ayrton in Formula One, it really wasn't until I joined McLaren as a test driver in 1990 that I had the chance to see exactly how fast he was and exactly how he did it. Now, in those days, we go to a European circuit like Monza or Estoril for a three-day test, and normally I'd do the first day or two pounding around, getting down to what I thought was a very respectable time before Senna came along, and within ten laps, he would have been a second faster. So how did he do it? Looking at the pictures, it's hard to see. But if we look at data recording showing just how the driver is using the controls, examples of Senna's technique can be seen. Looking first at breaking into a corner, the blue line shows me breaking. Compare this with the red line of Ayrton, clearly showing that here he doesn't break as hard or for as long. The result is that he's going faster into the corner. On acceleration out of the corner, Senna's unique technique is equally obvious. Whereas I would progressively increase the throttle opening, Ayrton would immediately start stabbing at it, pushing to get his foot hard down earlier, and therefore exit faster too. Putting both of these together means that with this example, he pulls out two tenths of a second through this section alone, and that's just one small part of the whole lap.